Hello and welcome to another Make a Flash game tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to access multiple character animations. If you haven't done the last tutorial, go back and do it because you'll need uh, the file set up uh, for this, to do this tutorial. Um, okay, let's start by opening uh, Flash game, our main file and our character file. Okay, to start off with, we're going to go into our main file, and there was one thing I missed in the last tutorial, and that was to add um, some breaks after, oh, whoops, not there, um, after the cases. So, add a break after each case. This will just make it so that once it's uh, found the correct case, and instead of going to the next one and checking if it's the right one it'll just break out of this entire switch and that'll make the code run a bit faster so go get rid of these I mean add some bricks alrighty so let's go back save it go back into our character alright so in order to access our uh, character animations we're going to need to create them first so let's go back into our flash game file and click layer 2 and then drag our character on um, double click your character and then select uh, the, select them on the first frame and then press control X to cut them um, delete layers 2 to 6 and then um, drag and remove frames uh, for layer one. All right, so now we're going to insert um, three keyframes, and then on the first keyframe, we're going to copy in our character. I'll oh, just copy them into every keyframe actually. So each of these keyframes is going to represent a uh, different animation. So the first one will probably be his idle animation. The second one will be running left, and the third one will be running right. All right, so let's start off by making these uh, three keyframes into movie clips. So, convert to symbol. Don't worry about exporting for action script. Um, make sure you select all the character, and. Alright, so now that we've made them into movie clips, let's go into our first keyframe by double clicking on the character. And then um, I'm going to quickly uh, change it so it looks like he's in idle mode since our first keyframe is the idle animation. I'll fast forward this bit. Okay, awesome. So it looks like he's sort of in idle mode. Uh, let's insert a keyframe there on 12 and insert, insert another one at 6. Um, we're just going to make a slight change so we can tell that he's actually animated. So let's just drag these arms in or something. Actually, maybe a bit more. Maybe out a bit. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay, so let's go back out. Um, for the second animation, we will, uh, since it's going to be running left, we'll, we'll switch the direction. So uh, double click it and then use the hotkey uh, Control T and then it will open this transform. And then make sure your constraint is unlocked so it's got those lines around it. And then click on scale width and type negative 100. That will flip them around. Okay, so now that he's flipped, let's go back out. Now we've got all our, all three different stages of animation. All right, so let's delete our character from the stage first, and then go uh, save it again, and then go into a character. All right, so this is where we're going to access the animation. So to start off with, let's type my character dot go to and stop one. Um, if you remember, this is uh, where we placed our idle animation on frame 1. So um, we want this animation to always be playing if nothing else is playing. So next let's type if direction is equal to negative 1. This is for left. Then go to and stop 
on 2, which is the left animation, and then if direction is equal to 1, go to and stop on 3, which is the right animation. Alrighty, um, so save that, and then it should work, so press Control enter to test, and then yeah, can move our character around. Um, he doesn't seem to be animating right. Oh, whoops, forgot to type um, my character dot there and my character dot there. Okay, so play again and it should be working. There you go. So when you press right, he runs right and plays the animation, same for left. And when you do nothing, he just is idle. Awesome. Okay. So in this tutorial, I showed you how to access multiple character animations. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a fixed background. If you enjoyed this tutorial or found it useful, please subscribe and leave a like. Also, if you have any questions, just leave a comment.